How do you date someone in Islam? Typically, dating works by flirting with someone you're interested in, taking them out, and then eventually sleeping with them. Then after a while, you start a relationship, usually for a few years, before you decide that you want to fully commit and then get married to them. Now, this method is incredibly problematic. Let me show you how. Firstly, what exactly is girlfriend and boyfriend? It is no more than a testing phase where you take someone and see if they are mentally, physically and emotionally compatible before you decide to fully commit. And because of this half commitment, you might meet someone else later on that you see a better future with, so then it becomes easy to leave that person for the other. Not only that, but girlfriend and boyfriend has now become an excuse for people to take advantage of others for their own sexual pleasure without any commitment from their end. And then after they're done with them, they throw them away like a used tissue and then move on to someone else. This method of dating leads to one, women and men of all ages getting used and abused. Two, people having little problem jumping from partner to partner. And when they do find the right person and fully commit to them, then divorce becomes so easy as a way out. And three, people become sexually desensitized and emotionally numb because they've had so many partners and have been through so many heartbreaks. Which is exactly why Allah says in the Quran, وَلَا تَقْرَبُوا الزِّنَا إِنَّهُ كَانَ فَاحِشَةً وَسَاءَ سَبِيلًا Do not come near adultery. It truly is a shameful deed and an evil way. In Islam, things are very, very different. The whole get-together between man and woman starts with the intention of marriage straight away. If there's someone you're interested in, you approach them and ask to get to know them more with that intention. Then you start getting to know each other respectfully. You cannot flirt or idle talk. Flirting and idle talking leads to emotions developing. And emotions developing clouds your judgment such that you start thinking that the worst person for you is actually the best person for you, which is not good at all. Once you're happy with each other's ideology, personality, vision, goals, and so on, you then fully commit to them and get married to them straight away. Not only will this relationship feel so much better, but it preserves the value of marriage and honors the relationship between man and woman. And if you're not ready for marriage, then you cannot play with people's emotions. Instead, you use the time and energy you have to better yourself and make yourself ready for marriage such that when it happens, it becomes much more likely to be successful. This way, society is protected and people are also protected.